You're back. Awesome. Thank you for coming. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a brand new installation of WordPress. Now, that involves installing some plugins, which is a very important skill to have when you're working with WordPress. These plugins that I'm going to show you how to install today are essential for quick and secure running of your WordPress website. Not only that, these plugins will give your site some very cool features. So, by the end of today's video, you will know how to set up WordPress for the first time and your site will be set up for success and you will know how to install plugins. So, let's get started. Let's get started by logging into our website. I didn't really cover this before, but when you're logging into your website, you can always just put in your URL, like I did, myboringchannel.net, and then follow that with a forward slash and WP admin. That will always take you to this page. So let's get here and then log in. Now, this is the first thing you're going to see. Feel free to spend some time looking at all this or just click dismiss. Then you can see here that we have some updates. Now, this is an important thing to remember about WordPress. You should always install your updates, always. It's a security thing. Keep your website updated all the time. That is an essential thing to remember when working with WordPress. So click on updates. We can see here that we need to update this plugin, Akismet. So select and then click update plugins. You have just done your first WordPress update. Very good. Now, since we're looking at Akismet already, let's click on plugins here and it will take us to the list of plugins installed. We have these ones here. Akismet. We want to activate it because this is our spam protection plugin. So let's click activate. Now we can see here that uh, we have to do something else. So let's go ahead and click here. Click activate your Akismet account. Now you come here and it tells you to get your API key. So if you don't have an API key yet, you're going to have to get one. So go ahead and click on get your API key. Again, you're going to need to click this, get an Akismet API key. Okay, so you will need to fill out these fields and then click sign up. What you're actually doing here is signing up for a WordPress.com account. So let's click sign up once we have the fields filled in. So now we are here. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Get started under name your price. Now over here we can set our price to zero and then put our name in here and then click continue. Congratulations, you now have an Akismet API key. Go ahead and copy that API key. Go back to your website and paste the API key right here and then click use this key. Then click save changes. Look at your settings here and the one that I would recommend is the one that is already checked by default. Always put spam in the spam folder for review. We are done setting up Akismet. So let's go ahead and click on plugins again. And we can see that Akismet is now activated. See, it says deactivate now instead of activate. And so Akismet is good to go. Your site is now going to be protected from spam. That is really cool. And Akismet is very effective. The next plugin we're going to install is called Jetpack. So now we're actually going to install a plugin. Akismet was already installed for us. So go ahead over here to plugins and then click on add new underneath plugins. Now on this page, you can search for the plugin that you would like to find. The plugin we want to install is already listed first here. It's called Jetpack. Now let's click on more details right here. You should always click on more details when you're about to install a plugin, unless you already know that it's a good plugin. And on this little window, you can see a lot of things. You can see when the plugin was last updated. This is very important information. Good plugins should be regularly updated. So if this says like two years ago, you probably shouldn't install that plugin. Okay, scroll down a little bit. You can see that there are over a million active installs of this plugin, which tells you it's very popular. Scroll down a little bit more and you can see the ratings on this plugin. Uh, the ratings are very high. Now there are quite a few one star ratings, but that's because people don't like big plugins. And this is a big plugin. But honestly, it doesn't um, slow down your site at all. So go ahead and click install now. And remember, always look at these things when you're installing new plugins. 
Always check on when it was last updated. Always check on the rating. Always check on how many installs there are. That's all important information to make sure you're getting a high quality plugin. So let's click install now. Now let's click activate plugin. Now you can see up here at the top it says connect to wordpress.com. This is essential. You have to do this to get Jetpack to work. Remember, we just signed up for a WordPress.com account when we activated Akismet, so we'll use that one. So let's click Connect to WordPress.com. It comes up to this page here, and it tells us that it wants to use the WordPress.com account I just signed up with because I'm already signed in. So all I need to do now is click Authorize Jetpack. If you aren't signed in to a WordPress.com account at the time, you will need to sign in and then click Authorize Jetpack. Awesome. Now Jetpack is activated. So let's go ahead and dismiss this jump start thing here. Just click dismiss. And we will look through Jetpack's modules and decide which ones we want to activate. So go over here on the side to Jetpack and then click on settings underneath it. These are all the modules that are included with Jetpack. There are a lot. You can see which ones are activated by hovering over it and seeing whether it says deactivate or activate. If it says deactivate, that means it's already activated. I would deactivate the ones you don't need to use right now because you want your site to be as lean as possible. So let's deactivate beautiful math for now. I'm going to activate carousel because it does some very cool things with images, which we'll get into in a different video. I will not use Gravatar hover cards, so I'm going to deactivate that. I am going to use Jetpack comments, so I'm going to activate that. I'm going to deactivate OmniSearch. I'm going to deactivate notifications. I'm going to deactivate post by email. And you don't have to deactivate any of these things, by the way. You can keep them all activated if you'd like. It won't affect the running of your site that much. I'm going to leave Protect activated as that helps secure our website. I'm going to leave Publicize activated. Publicize is very cool. It allows you to share automatically your brand new posts with a lot of popular social media sites. Related posts, I'm going to leave that deactivated for now, but later on I'm going to activate that once we get going. Sharing, I'm going to leave activated. Short code embeds, I'm going to deactivate. Site icon, I'm going to activate. That will allow us to replace the little in motion logo we have up here in this tab. To our own. We'll do that later. Spelling and grammar I'm going to deactivate because I already know how to spell pretty well and I have pretty good grammar as well. Tiled galleries I will activate as I will be using that at a later date. And that is all for now. Now Jetpack is set up and ready to use. Okay the next plugin we're going to install is a backup plugin. It's called Updraft Plus. So go to plugins and then click on add new. Then type in Updraft Plus. Here it is. Let's click on More Details. Always make a habit of that. Okay, we can see that this plugin was updated two weeks ago. Good. Over 400,000 installs. Good. Five star rating. Good. Okay, let's install this plugin. Install now. Now let's click Activate Plugin. Scroll down and then click on Settings under Updraft Plus. Now, go ahead and click Settings right here. We are going to set this up to be weekly and retain two scheduled backups. We will set this one up to be weekly as well and retain two scheduled backups. Leave these items set as they are upon install. As we scroll down, we're going to leave this set to None, even though that's not recommended. But it is a pain to set these up, so we're not going to do that right now. Typically, None is fine. Your backups are stored on your web server and that should be fine. And then click Save Changes. Just check this bottom box here because we're not sending this backup to remote storage. And then click Backup Now. Your backup will start to run. And then it will tell you the backup apparently succeeded and is now complete. You have backed up your WordPress website for the first time. And now it will happen automatically in the future. The next plugin we're going to install is called W3 Total Cache. So go to Plugins and then click on Add New. Type in W3 and let's go ahead and click on More Details for this plugin. It's a habit you should always get into. 
We can scroll down a little bit and see that it was last updated two months ago, good. We can see that there are over 900,000 installs, good. And we can see that there are a lot of five-star ratings. And there are a lot of one-star ratings, but I think these one-star ratings are from people who don't know how to configure the plugin. So let's go ahead and click Install Now. The purpose of this plugin is to supercharge your website to make it very fast. All WordPress websites, in my opinion, need a caching solution. This is the caching solution for your WordPress website, and it will make your WordPress website run much, 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 much faster. So go ahead and click Activate Plugin. And you want your WordPress website to be fast. Google rankings will be better if you have a fast website, and people will stick around at your site for longer if you have a fast loading website. So let's hide this message. Let's scroll down to W3 Total Cache, and we can see that it is activated. Now there are a lot of settings in here uh, that we can mess with. Right now, I'm not gonna play around with that. I may do a video on setting up W3 Total Cache at a later time. However, the default settings will speed up your website dramatically. The next plugin we're going to install is called WordPress SEO. So go ahead and click on Add New under Plugins over here, and then type in SEO up here. Click Enter, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see WordPress SEO by Yoast. Let's click on More Details to make sure this is a good plugin. We can see that this plugin was updated very recently, four weeks ago, that's good. We can see that there are over a million active installs, that's good. And we can see that it has mostly five-star ratings, that is also good. So let's go ahead and click on Install Now. Now what this plugin allows you to do is write your posts in such a way that the search engines will love them. So you really do want this plugin. It will teach you how to write good keyword rich posts that Google and other search engines will love. Let's go ahead and click activate plugin here. So you can go ahead and watch a tour of it if you would like, and I would recommend that, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna click close. Now let's scroll down and look at the plugins we have. We have Akismet installed and activated. This is going to protect our website from spam. We have Jetpack installed and activated. It will allow users to subscribe to our blog posts and receive email notifications automatically. It will allow us to share our posts automatically to popular social media sites. It will help protect our site. It will help speed up our site. It will allow us to have related posts at the bottom of our site. Jetpack does so much, I can't even begin to tell you all the things that Jetpack does. I will have an entire video devoted to Jetpack alone. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit more. Updraft Plus gives us the ability to automatically back up our WordPress website. We want this running, people. We want this running. So if anything terrible occurs, we can recover our website. Okay, W3 Total Cache caches our website and helps it load very fast for our users. Folks, you have to have a caching solution if you're using WordPress, and this is the best one that I have found. And then we have WordPress SEO. This plugin will help you write very good, keyword-rich, search engine-friendly posts. Okay, folks, your WordPress website is now set up for success. It's gonna be fast, it's gonna be secure, it's gonna be backed up, and it's gonna have a lot of really cool features. Now, stick around, please subscribe, because each week this summer, I'm gonna put out a new video, and upcoming videos will show you how to install themes and start making your website look how you want it to look. It'll show you how to write pages, and it'll show you how to write posts, put links in there, it'll show you how to make picture galleries, and embed videos, and by the end of this summer, we're gonna have a really cool looking website, so please subscribe, stick with it, and I hope you learned a lot today. More coming soon.